This video is for anyone who enjoys reading and wants to be able to have deeper, more meaningful conversations with other people who read a lot. Especially, I'll focus on novels, reading novels and becoming more well-versed in literature. So the first thing you want to keep in mind if you want to become well-read is that being well-read is relative. The sheer amount of books that exist when you consider everything that's been written all over the world is way more than you will ever be able to read. And so I think it's really important to start off geographically and understand maybe the core few books that are very important to the literary tradition that is most relevant to you. So if you live in America, there are a few books that are essential to read because they have impacted a ton of other books that have come after them and their place in history has stood the test of time and they'll continue to be relevant going forward. These most essential American works are Moby Dick, The Scarlet Letter, Blood Meridian, Beloved, Walden by Thoreau, and probably The Great Gatsby I would throw in there as well. Obviously there are a ton of great American novels that I didn't mention just now. And again, keep in mind that being well-read is relative. I'm from the American South. I'm from Durham, North Carolina and Chapel Hill. So the books that are most relevant to me might not be the ones that are most relevant to you. My reading skews towards the American South because I have deep roots there. On one side of my family, a lot of my family members were sharecroppers at one point in time. And so that makes me tend toward books that were written about poor folks from the South. I am even more drawn to writers like William Faulkner, Cormac McCarthy, Toni Morrison, Jesmyn Ward, anybody who writes about the American South and the legacy that it's had moving forward, bad or good, is a writer that I'm going to be drawn to and want to read their works. The next most important thing, if you wanna be well-read, is to identify those writers that are most relevant to you and make it a goal for yourself to read as many of their works as you can over time. That way, you'll be able to have kind of a foothold within literature. So beyond reading those most essential works that I mentioned, focus on a couple key writers, read multiple works by them. But don't just trek through. I mean, it's, it's a little less meaningful if you're just lining up all of Toni Morrison's works and you're like, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna plow right through. Give them some time. The third tip that I would give is vary what you're reading. You don't wanna be reading a lot of dense books right in a row, make it fun. There's room for books that are meant to just be page turners, chapter books, romances, mysteries, fantasy, that sort of thing. You gotta have that kind of stuff in there too. Fourth, I would say that reading poetry is very important. I studied prose in college and didn't get too much modern poetry until after I graduated. The more poetry you read, the better an appreciation you'll have for what certain writers can do. I don't think I have a full understanding of just how great writers like Dennis Johnson and Cormac McCarthy are. I think I need to read a lot more poetry to start to understand what they're doing, at least on some level with their prose, which does get very poetic a lot of the time. And lastly, you have to put books down. If books are not clicking for you, and I would say this is the most important of these five tips, you gotta stop reading it. The best rule that I can give you is to make a judgment call around the 60 or 70 page mark. That gives you plenty of time to make a judgment call. So those are my top five tips for how to become well-read. And maybe a bonus one that I would throw in there is to just be patient. As long as you've got your sights set on being a more well-rounded reader and you're kind of forcing yourself to read books that you know are classics, but you're not holding yourself strictly to some kind of rigid list, you're allowing yourself to bounce around a little bit and put down books like Moby Dick, which I did mention at the beginning of the video, you'll become a much more well-read individual over time. If you got something out of this video, definitely consider subscribing, throw this video a like, let me know maybe some of the books you consider to be most essential, whether in American literature, Western literature in general, or in another canon or tradition, I'm curious. 
And especially, I would like to see some poetry recommendations if you have those.